case that I want. F case is loaded. They've got so many cool recolors and new castings. Um, and I haven't got them all, but I was able to pick up a couple of more. So I'm getting closer to getting all of the F case cars that I'm looking for. And, um, well, let me show you what I was able to pick up. So the recolor on the Kia Stinger, I grabbed this one. I like this red. This is nice. Um, yeah, this is just a good casting front tampos, that red, very cool. So pick up the recolor of this. I got the new recolor of the Jeep Gladiator. And uh, I think of the three, cause there was a tan and then a red. Uh, I like this one the best. The, um, they threw on some side decos, which on the uh, other two, they really didn't. I mean, they did the hood. This still has the hood where it says Gladiator. The other two versions have, well, here's the red one. I can just grab it real quick. This is the red, pretty plain on the side. I mean, there's a little, probably a little Hot Wheels. Could say four wheel drive, you know, Gladiator on the hood, but that's about it. They did the, I like that they did the front, you know, with the black and the grill and the lights. They did the same thing here. This one's done also. Um, but then if you look right back here on the tailgate, it looks like there's a Punisher skull or a skull of some kind, which I think is kind of cool. And then there's something kind of ghosted on the door here that uh, I'm gonna have to get a magnifying glass or take a picture of it and blow it up so I can really get a good look at what that decal is, what it says on the door. But I like this one the best of them because like I said, there's the red, here's the red one. See, so I'm talking about it. This is the tan one, which I really like this tan. I wish. I hope that, you know, it'd be nice if they came out with the, these decos on this tan one, cause that would just look, that would look menacing. Um, you know, this is a blue one. And I like the blue one just because of the, the extra decals they put on it. Um, I was also, now I'm a big fan of F1 cars. F1 racing, Formula One racing, I think is pretty cool. You know, um, and I watch all the drama that goes, you know, between the races and then I watch the races and, and F1 cars are cool, but Hot Wheels, they don't make any F1 cars, but they do make these Formula, almost dropped it, make these Formula E cars, which this is a real thing. And I, and I watched this, I looked this up too. Formula E is very cool. Um, is it as cool as F1? Probably not, because it's not as noisy and visceral and in your face. But uh, there go, there's a lot that goes in to racing these, uh, these electric, because it is all electric, there's no petrol in this. Um, there's a lot that goes into racing these, like they have to conserve the batteries and, you know, they can, they run it, you know, at 40% and then they've got a time period in which they can go hundred percent and they got to back it off. Like, so they got to, they got to really manage the energy for the car, the, the battery on the car. But I think they look cool cause they look just like F1 cars. So this is the latest one that has come out. Um, you know, and so if, if you're not known, there's two other calibrations. This is purple and then there's this black. And now we've got this, this gold. So I'm a fan. I like these. Uh, I really wish Hot Wheels was doing Formula One cars, but uh, they're not. So maybe one day they'll get the licensing and they'll do it. So this next car that I found, probably the one car that I was really trying to get a hold of out of the F case and I got it and I'm pretty happy about it. And Hot Wheels has been doing, you know, collaboration, collab, collaborations. Um, sorry for stumbling over my words. Hot Wheels has been doing these collaborations with, uh, with people, with guys, with, and I think they're great. Probably the one I like the most right now is the Urban Outlaw with Magnus Walker. Every car in the Urban Outlaw livery and Magnus Walker is, I like, I think they're all cool. You know, but then there's some others, you know, there's, the RTR and then there's, you know, the Joy Logano's and all that kind of stuff. But they've recently 
have done this with Mad Mike. And this is the, the Mazda, this is the Mazda RX-3 done in Mad Mike's livery. Um, the Mad Mike, he actually has a Mazda RX-3. And if you don't know who Mad Mike is, he's huge in New Zealand. Um, he's, he's a big deal over there. Um, and you know, he's a big deal here. He's a drift car. He does, he does, uh, drift racing. Um, and he's really good at it, but he also, you know, like he builds insane race cars, but everything with him is Mazda and the rotary engine. Now we've seen this version. They came out with this car for Mad Mike in this livery. And Mad Mike, he used, he used to own one of these. So it's kind of funny. He had one looked just like this. Hot Wheels licensed it, did the, you know, made this car. And then um, Mad Mike, he, he had an opportunity to get a pretty rare Mazda that he was wanting to get his hands on that was in like mint condition. And the guy was like, well, I'll trade you car for car. So he traded this car for that car. Kind of funny. So this one came out and then he traded it and got rid of it. But he does still have one that looks like this. He does have a car that's like this. And he's crazy about the rotary engine. Like that's his, like he, that's the motor of choice for him. Um, I've watched videos of him where he has like purchased a Miata and did an engine swap on it, put a rotary in it, um, and then he races them and drifts them. So some pretty cool stuff, some pretty cool stuff. But uh, because I'm you know, all about Mad Mike and these cars, um, we're gonna make this car the photo montage. So let's get to it, yeah?